Hi, welcome to this quick presentation or informative presentation on how to convert a, a virtual machine to a physical machine and also vice versa too. I will share my experiences of doing the same successfully on many occasions. Now, the advantages of a physical machine. No overheads or of abstraction or emulation layers. No CPU wastage on them. Two, it's a single operating system that gets the maximum hardware resources for good performance under heavy workloads. So you will be considering your workloads and depending on that, you might switch to a physical machine to get the maximum performance advantage. Now, advantages of a virtual machine for quick trials, quick testings, light workloads, etc. can be used to simultaneously with many virtual machines on the same physical machine. Now, the steps of conversion, converting virtual machine to a physical machine. We'll also paste these steps on the YouTube description box below as well for ease of use and your and for your reference. Okay, first check the virtual hard disk size from your virtual box or your virtualization software and ensure that you have the same space free on any of your physical drives to create an dot image file out of it. You may also use a USB pen drive or a USB hard drive with NTFS formatting on it to support large file sizes of more than 4 GB. As the image file that we are going to write in this process is going to be a very huge file, some uh, as much as, as good as mirroring your uh, VDI file or a VMDK file whatever, or a VHD file. So it's going to be the same size when you're imaging it. So ensure that you have a very large uh, drive uh, available, drive with a lot of free space in it. Now shut down the virtual machine if it's running, then on the command prompt, your DOS prompt as you call it as well. So then on the command prompt, adjust this command and also the its locations according to your operating system and then execute it. So here I'm giving the Windows uh, uh, equivalent of this command, a virtual box command to convert a VDI file to a dot image file. So uh, you can adjust this command depending on your operating system uh, and also depending on the locations of VirtualBox or VMware or whatever virtualization player of your choice, just adjust this. Of course, you, uh, the commands may also vary depending on your virtualization software. This command may also vary. So try to Google search for a equivalent command and use it. So most of the virtual good virtualization software offers this facility to convert its its virtual hard disk to a IMG, raw image file. After converting, after uh, creating a image file out of your VDA file, use the free and excellent cross-platform Balena Etcher, Balena Etcher software to flash the dot image file to a physical hard drive. Either directly connect the hard drive through a SATA, SATA, NVMe interface, or through a USB adapter cable for your drive. Balena Etcher also supports reading a .img.gz file format as well. Carefully select your hard drive from its hidden devices drop-down menu to wipe out and then flash the image onto it. After successfully flashing the image, reboot the physical machine and change the boot order either temporarily or permanently to boot from the newly flashed disk. After booting, you may require or be prompted to install additional hard drivers, hardware drivers for your newly converted machine. The dot image file created above could also be zzipped, i.e. dot zz format with compression level one using the free 7-zip software for future safekeeping safe purposes. Now, the steps, the reverse steps, physical machine to virtual machine. Use the free RescueZilla software 
a uh, GUI of the clo earlier Clonezilla software, the excellent Clonezilla software, it's a GUI version of it. So use the freeze RescueZilla software to back up your physical machine to an image on an NTFS formatted USB drive for large file support as usual. Then use the same RescueZilla software, RescueZilla software to restore the image to a virtual machine's new hard disk. After starting the VM and booting from the CD-ROM, i.e. .iso file. All the softwares that I have mentioned above are easily available through Google search. They also have their respective help guides too on their websites. So that's all. Yeah, of course, I'm sorry, I'm not able to give you a really comprehensive demo of all this. See, as it varies from operating system to soft operating system, it may vary. And your virtualization software to software, it will vary. So all these can't be really given a demo. But I guess this is easy to follow and you can uh, customize it depending on your operating system and, and your virtualization software. All of them op offer some similar methods or so. So it should be easy to do, achieve all this. My main purpose of taking this video is after watching so many other videos on this subject, I found they didn't give a comprehensive treatment and also the easy software treatment, they didn't give it. So that's why I had to take this effort to do this all. Okay, so hope you understand uh, this uh, uh, video is the purpose of this video. Okay, that's all. So if you like the presentation, do press the like button so that others find this video helpful as well. Then they come to know about it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.